Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, of the Hansel and Gretel Company. You have 30 minutes. This is Gleimborn's first staging of Hansel and Gretel in its 75-year history. The opera is based on the grim fairy tale and composed by Engelbert Humperdinck, a pupil of Richard Wagner. This was his masterpiece. First of all, it's a fabulous uh, fairy tale uh, story, which everyone knows. It's a, an opera which is really consumable for children also, because I, I myself, for example, have, have been uh, driven into opera because of Hansel and Gretel, because when I first heard it in, in music uh, lessons, I was like, oh, that's amazing. And from that day on, I, I just started to love opera. I liked very much this, this uh, story. Uh, this mystery is very nice. It's not a typical fairy tale with princess and, uh, and queen. So I like, I like very much. With Hansel and Gretel, Humperdinck lifted German opera from the shadow of Wagner. While paying homage to the master, the opening notes of the overture suggest a new direction. If you are carefully studied the music, and then you can find that so many other uh, elements in uh, Wagner. Um, for example, um, the overture starts. Um, For example, then uh, the, um, to think about um, Wagner, Wagner is uh, very romantic and uh, sometimes very grotesque, you know, and uh, very complex. But uh, this start of the Hans and Gretel um, is completely different from the Wagner um, music. Very, very um, uh, tranquil, you know, and um, also and, uh, has a, a serenity. At the beginning of the opera, we're hungry, we're bored, we're at the breaking point, we're done. Gretel's trying to say, come on, let's go get back to work, let's get back to work. She doesn't really want to get back to work, but she thinks she's trying to be responsible. She knows we're going to get whipped if, we come, if mom comes back and we're not doing what we were supposed to have been doing. And Hensel says, let's dance. It's just pure energy, you know. So it's kind of fun. It's, it's fun to explore that when you're not an eight or 10-year-old kid anymore. 